Three, two, one, ignition, lift off. Monkeys in space. Long before Colonel John Glenn became the first American man to orbit the Earth, two other Americans explored the edge of space. A six-pound rhesus monkey called Abel and a tiny 11-ounce squirrel monkey called Baker must make a hazardous flight to prove man's ability to survive in space. At Cape Canaveral, the two animals are carefully strapped into the nose cone of a Jupiter rocket. Powerful rockets hurl the capsule 300 miles above the Earth. Soon, Abel and Baker are traveling at speeds up to 10,000 miles per hour. The flight is going well, and on the grounds, sent from instruments in the nose cone. But now the capsule is plunging back into the Earth's atmosphere, and the friction from the air heats the metal skin of the nose cone to a fiery red. 1,500 miles from the launching pad, the capsule drops into the Atlantic Ocean. This is shark-infested water, but U.S. Navy frogmen dive in to rescue the nose cone. Have the monkeys survived? Aboard ship, the capsule is opened. Abel and Baker are completely unharmed. Carefully, scientists remove the instruments which have recorded the animal's physical reactions. Thanks to Abel and Baker, scientists now know that living creatures can survive this astounding experience. Another great step in man's exploration of space has been made.